Hi, I'm Mark Gobby, General Manager Asset Operations and Delivery at SA Water. I'm here at Kangaroo Creek Dam with Project Manager Eric Longwiley. Work on Kangaroo Creek Dam started in 2016 and is due for completion in 2019. Eric, I was hoping you'd be able to tell us a little bit about the type of work that's underway. We're doing a dam safety upgrade. We're basically widening the spillway, raising the embankment and putting seals on the concrete face slab. And um, we um, beefing up all the concrete structures so they can withstand um, earthquake loads. We've, uh, we've also had to lower the water level on the dam to, uh, to do work on the upstream face and that's revealed a little bit of South Australian history so I was hoping you'd be able to talk us through some of that as well. When they constructed the reservoir in the late 1960s they had to um, change Gorge Road because Gorge Road ran in the middle of um, the dam and there's a bridge at the intake structure, um, bachelor's bridge, and that was covered by water. Um, it's now visible only for the second time in the dam's history, and um, it's quite visible from the lookout, and we have lots of visitors coming and looking at the exposed bridge. As well as uh, uncovering the old bachelor bridge when we lowered the water level, what else did we find in the bottom of the reservoir? We knew there were quite large um, carp in the reservoir, and um, we employed a fisherman to remove about 10 tons of carp um, from the reservoir. And what's happened to that carp? How was, uh, how was that used? Half of the carp went to um, the Sydney fish market and the other half goes for fertiliser or turtle food. Eric, the project's just uh, achieved a, a fantastic milestone of 200,000 working hours without a lost time injury. Um, what, what, what have been the, the major factors behind that achievement? Well, um, there are a few, and one is the culture of safety culture on site. Um, that's um, been a very good initiative by, by DAFCO, um, getting all the workers to talk about safety. We talk about safety daily at the pre-start meetings, and um, there's a lot of planning in to um, work safely. And um, that all contributes to um, this milestone that we've achieved on site. When the, uh, when the dam's in operation, Whereabouts does the water go from here and how does it get into the distribution system? We release water from Kangaroo Creek to Gorge Weir and then from Gorge Weir it goes with the aqueduct to Hope Valley and from Hope Valley then it goes to the Hope Valley water treatment plant and then into the distribution network. Thanks Eric. If you'd like to see the rare sight of an empty Kangaroo Creek dam, there's a public lookout about five kilometres from Cuddly Creek on the Gorge Road. It's a fantastic site and a great, week, a great way to spend a weekend.